This lab is a review of the vector and raster data models. In this first task, I'll examine the vector exercise data with QGIS browser. So here I've navigated to the GST102 lab1 data folder. On the left, I'll see that there are seven shape files, an ERDAS imagine image file, a GeoTIFF, and several XML metadata files. If I select the data folder, the param tab on the right hand side will show me the contents and you'll see that over here my view is simplified. I see a shape file as a layer whereas over here I see all the component files of that shape file. By selecting one of these shape files it'll switch to the metadata tab and I'll get some information about that. Obviously it's a shape file but I'll also find out that it has 1845 features what the spatial reference system is and what the extent is, and that it's a point layer. Now I'll switch to one of these climactic layers, Texas Precipitation, January 2001. And I'll see that this is a polygon data set with 156 features. And again, I'll get the spatial extent and the spatial reference for this. Another thing we can use QGIS Browser for is to preview data sets. So I'll see the actual features of the data. And you can click on the Attributes tab to preview the tabular attributes of the layer. In the next task, you'll examine the raster data for this lab.